good, my Bell Dre peoples? You already know what time it is. It's another review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Apple Plus docuseries, The Me You Can't See. It's an executive produced by Oprah Winfrey and Prince Harry. It's out right now. And if you don't have Apple Plus, you can get a free subscription for a week. Um, all episodes are out, so you can binge watch it this weekend. Um, but before I get into this video, I want to say thank you to my new subs. And um, I really appreciate the support. We are on the road to 1,000, so if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and like this video because it helps with the algorithm. And um, let's get into this video because it's a big one. It's very important. But this one, I'm not going to review this regularly because uh, although I did really enjoy watching this, um, but I feel like my enjoyment is is not really important it's the sir it's what this is going to do for people that's way more important what i loved about this series is that it provides it shows a spectrum of individuals from careers from ethnicities from different um different genders who are different sexual orientations whatever different races it showed a spectrum of people who either are going through something mentally or who is or who knows someone who's going through something mentally, which at the same at the same time will affect your mental health as well. One in five people are dealing with mental health at this current moment. And it's a issue that has been underserved that we need to find something quick. We need to find a solution quick because I really, I know that the mental health that's going on today is affecting people at the top, which which inevitably affect the people at the bottom. I love the fact that this year showed different forms of mental health from schizophrenia to Depression, clinical, clinical depression, to OCD, to um, bipolar. It gave a variety and also gave a variety of um, therapy and also therapies and trial. I, I really hope people can take themselves out of the whole, well, I don't understand why rich people are talking about these issues. How would they know? This is not a rich thing. This is not a poor thing. As someone who have had been in very low places financially, mentally, emotionally, and I've been in, I don't want to say high places, but I've been comfortable. Um, I know for a fact that mental health does not care. What I loved about this series is that I had uh, the ability to view people's stories that I could never relate on, but I also was able to view stories that I can relate to. But with the folks that I couldn't relate on, I was so happy to witness or I was so happy to for them to tell the stories because it educated me more on things that I probably had just a, a general idea of and I never knew to the full extent of and, and still don't. One of my favorite episodes were was the fourth episode um, with uh, um, Haseen and David. Both of them had bits of their stories that I could fully relate to as far as dealing with depression at a young age. Me, myself, I've been dealing with depression since, I don't know, I want to say middle school, high school. And then it didn't get worse until like a few years ago, dealing with grief, the loss of someone. And that's something that I don't like talking about, really. But I related to those two. That was like my favorite episode because that was something I related to. And, you know... Telling your stories are important. Telling, speaking about things is important because sometimes I have found myself when I have spoken about my depression or things that I was dealing with, it wasn't therapy, but it was therapeutic. And it can kind of ans help you answer questions that for, it can help you answer things for questions that you've, al you've always wanted to, you always wanted answers to within yourself. There is no perfect time to talk about mental health, but it needs to be talked about because I feel like it is affecting a lot of us. I've seen it growing up with my my parents, my relative, my family members, my friends. I've seen it. I 
And I never knew what it was. And now that we're in this place where we're more educated or we're more aware of things that we're talking about, we're more, I feel like, more evolved emotionally during this time than we were maybe when I was coming up as a kid. And if we can find answers and, and try to serve this, this monster a little bit more, um, I feel like we will find more, we will find a solution, more solutions to help people. And I feel like we, this world will kind of be less stressful and more, less tense than what it is. Cause I feel like a lot of what we're going through at the moment is mental health related. Um, yeah. What I didn't like was it had nothing to do with the film, but I, I didn't like some of the reactions I was seeing. Like I was seeing these comments I'm going to post of people trolling his wife while he's telling his story, his wife speaking of committing to or wanting to commit suicide. And there's people saying like, she's, this, she's abusive towards him because he she tricked him to leaving and all these types of things. And, and then you have this lady but I think Prince Harry has overcooked his goose in a way because um, he's so negative about it. He comes across to me as somebody who is still very unwell. And I also found it very cringing to be invading his therapy session with the therapist. I watched it all um, and I felt so embarrassed uh, that he would go through this and this gestures he had to make and uh, what he said and it, it looked both embarrassing and a little bit phony uh, uh, Angela, we, we've yeah that like for you to sit up there and while someone's showing you a variety or, or, or version of this form of therapy and you're sitting up there saying that's phony that's just that's doing a disservice to people who want to watch this and see and hear these stories or see what type of therapy might help them, you're saying that's phony and that's not real. That's doing a disservice to someone else because you want to go in this hate train. And I'm really tired of this. Like, I, I hate people. This is why I, I can't stand a, a lot of the media now because I have a lot of, I have family that's in media that works in publication, have friends that works in publications. So I know... I have a better understanding now of how it works. And a lot of it today is just clickbaiting. And it's just, it has nothing to do with what it's supposed to be on. And it's supposed to deliver some news. It's how it was affecting our, our, our daily lives. And it's, it's just, it's just to get, it's more to serve these, these ad marketers and all of that. And I hate that. So, you know, leave the hate. This isn't a time for that. You know, it's never a time for hate, you know, Accept what this is and try to help people who are going through things and who needs a voice, who needs to be heard, who needs to feel loved. And if you don't, if you can't find that, guys, I'm telling you, if you could find just one person or a community of people, but be careful what community you find. But if you could find a community that is about showing positivity and trying to better the world, and someone who would just listen and tell me would it make a big difference. I'm, it's a daily battle for me to deal with my depression. You know, I have my good days, I have my bad days. Um, I don't like talking about it that much, but I'm also learning. And I've also learned that, you know, holding it in is not helping. And um, if just one person watches this and they relate to that, that's all that matters. Video today, guys, I really appreciate anyone who's coming to watch this because I, I because I don't I don't know you know it's you can always you only hope for people to watch these type of things and um check this series out guys like I said I really I don't I would never tell a person not to see a movie I don't do that I don't always and I don't always like telling people to see a movie I just like you just kind of like choose for yourself but there's a rule to uh, there's an exception to our rules so um check this out um you may not realize how much this may help you or someone you may know and um yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys i'll see you the next video and um peace out